procedures I do the typical like a pacemaker implants and ICDs and also if you're doing a catheterization through the left radial and also do a peripheral procedure through the left arm it's much easier to do through this artist one because if you're standing on the left side you could easily turn around the monitor to the right side so you can stand on the left side so you don't need to turn your head in an awkward way to look into the monitor so you could look straight into the monitor and uh, so it's much easier to the procedures to the left side the C arm can be more different directions and especially if you're doing the peripheral you don't need to move the table when you're doing the pacemakers you could use a lower frame per second uh, when the procedure is 15 normally that's the standard uh, what uh, other labs use you could go down to 7.5 even lower uh, when you're doing the implants and that way you will cut down the radiation we looked at uh, uh, several other systems when we're making a decision which one to buy. Uh, I think the, the few things uh, we looked at, number one, the, the size of the room we have. We felt uh, this was a better fit to the, the room size we have because it gives you more flexibility and uh, um, the, the, the unit we have. And uh, other thing is this is a multi-purpose lab. We use uh, both for coronary, peripheral, and implants and EP studies. And uh, most of the EP studies, uh, implants are done through the left side. So this unit really helps us um, work better from the left side.